Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This video I'm showing you footage using the latest DLSS 4.5 driver from NVIDIA. If you don't know about that I'm linking a video down below in the description. And essentially it, it enables less ghosting better visuals if you've got DLSS enabled. I'm flying over New York which is already taxing on my system. My system specs are linked down below in the, the description. I'll let you know what they are in fact in this video. I'm using a 5060 Ti and a 5700 X3D so it's a previous generation processor but it's one of the best processors of those times and 32 gigs of RAM. It's essentially quite a mid spec system. Here I am though, flying over New York in VR, using, like I said, DLSS 4.5 and the latest NVIDIA driver, that's driver 591.74 that was released on Monday the 5th of Jan. I've never known VR to be so smooth on my mid-spec PC system. I've done a couple of flights over New York before, typically in something like the Cessna 182RG, that's by Carinado. Uh, I'll put my review of that link down below in the description. Something like the default Grand Caravan or Cessna 172. I could get away with it, it would be a bit stuttery over New York every now and again. This time I, do, I was doing a full flight for something like 20 minutes this flight and then I went, it off, went off to land. And I was having very few, I only had maybe one pause and that was much later in the flight when I went under a bridge. Very very smooth in DLSS 4.5 and the latest NVIDIA driver. Keep in mind, I'm also using the Pimax Crystal Light, and I think I've got that on full fidelity in this video. Now that's the resolution of 20, uh, 2880 times 2880 per eye, so it's higher than something like the PSVR 2 or the Quest 3. It's quite a high-end VR headset, and if you're interested in the Pimax Crystal, and I do recommend it, uh, my affiliate links are linked down below in the description. Getting immense clarity. Now I've got, I'll show you my VR settings on screen. So I pretty much put it on the medium preset and I am running DLSS. I can't get away with flying over a city like New York without DLSS uh, enabled. Uh, I've got it, I think I've got it on DLSS balanced in fact. So you know, not performance, that would be balanced as well. And I was guessing. Now, I do have developer mode. If you look at the top of the screen now, I do have developer mode enabled. I didn't want to put the frame counter on because it takes up a big portion of the screen. And I, I think it takes away from the experience of perhaps what it's like in VR. I mean, look at me, looking around the vision jets with the Pimax crystal, those screens are absolutely, well, crystal clear. I guess they thought of the name Crystal, thinking, oh, Crystal Clear. They must have tried the headset, of course, in pre-production and thought, wow, yeah, we've got, to, we've got to name it the, the Crystal. Good name to name it. You're looking around your cockpit, looking around outside, even though it's in medium settings in the sim, in VR, when you're close to those buildings or flying around a major city like that, everything looks immensely detailed. And medium settings is more than enough. If you've got the system to bump them up to high, something like a 5080 or 5090 of course, then you can do that and get even better visuals. I have tried it in high, yeah, it looks better, but to be honest, it looks fantastic. 
you've got to think those visuals when you're looking at them, especially when you've got a high quality headset with crystal clear performance, like the Crystal Light or Super if you can run it. And both affiliate links are linked down below in the description. When you have that, medium settings are more than enough. Going back to that DLS, DLSS, <laughs> I have to slow down when I say that for some reason. DLSS 4.5 driver and the latest NVIDIA driver. Like I said, I've never felt a performance so smooth over New York. And it's in quite a moderately complex aircraft like the Vision Jet. I was having no issues with it. Like I said, th throughout the whole flight, I think I had maybe one pause as I went under a bridge. I, I wonder if I could show you that in this footage or we'll get to it later. Apart from that, it's just very, very smooth. Travelling at a fair pace, so not travelling slowly. And I was just getting, inc like I said, incredible performance. So the DLSS 4.5, for me, as I'm using a DLSS in VR, and I know many of you are as well, I, I am getting better performance with that. It's an experimental form, DLSS 4.5 at the moment. For those of you who don't know, it works on 2000 series cards upwards. So if you own something like a 2070 or 2080, 3080, 4080, 4070 500. or the 50 series cards, apparently this driver will work with any of those cards. If you're using VR and you're suffering with performance around major cities, give that driver a go. Download the latest NVIDIA driver. Again, that's that was released. If you go to the NVIDIA app, you'll see an update for the driver. Getting to Watch the video I've linked down below. You have to opt into the experimental beta or beta uh, to get DLSS 4.5. Put the settings on what I showed in that video. And then you probably... Absolutely, you'll find better performance in VR. I'm absolutely amazed. There's one more thing I want to mention just before I wrap up this video. PlayStation 5 owners get very, very excited about VR. Now listen, I was gonna, I'm gonna, probably going to make a video about this just before the release of the PlayStation VR module for Flight Sim 2024, uh, just to hype people up. I'm an early adopter of VR. I've got the, still got the, no, I think I've got rid of it now, but I had the original CV1, the original Oculus that came out on PC. I had the original PlayStation, I've still got it, PlayStation VR 1, and I got that within the release month. Had some incredible experiences, things like Resident Evil, Farpoint, you know, Until Dawn, that roller coaster, what's it called, Until Dawn, Russia Blood, wasn't it? Uh the robot, astral bot, VR, goodness knows what. Some incredible VR experiences. Probably Resident Evil 7 is the standout for me on PlayStation VR 1. Don't have the PlayStation VR 2. Early adopter, always love VR. Without a shadow of a doubt, the most amazing VR experience you can have right now is in Flight Simulator. I believe, and I've got to, I'll do a video, so I won't go into this in too much detail. I think the, v, the PS Pro will do VR similar to what you've seen here. The resolution of the VR PSVR 2 headset is not quite as high as the resolution I'm using in this video. Uh, so, you know, it's a bit less than the 2880 times 2880 per eye of the Pimax Crystal Light. But you're going to get similar visuals, probably similar quality. It'll be running roughly in medium quality in the sim. You are in for a treat. Every time I jump into VR in a flight sim, around a major city especially, I look out and think, oh my goodness. Especially when you're looking around the cockpit of your plane and you're looking over the wing of your aircraft and you're ducking down to see what's coming ahead. You've got all that six degrees of movement. I mean, we know, you know that if you're a VR user. But you're looking at those super, but I don't know. Maybe the Pimax Crystal just does that to you. I've got to try. I've still got a couple of, I think I've got my Rift S somewhere. It's not quite as good. 
I do think the PSVR 2 will deliver similar visuals, if not quite as good. But get very excited. It's definitely the most pronounced VR experience you're going to have. If you enjoy flying especially, you are in for an absolute treat. Listen, I can keep droning on. I think I'll finish the video there. DLSS 4.5 with the latest NVIDIA driver. Give it a go. If you own a VR headset, give it a go and you should find improvements. If you don't have a VR headset and you have the PC capabilities, look at my uh, PC specs link down below in the description. I've mentioned them before. If you've got those capabilities, I don't think you're going to get much better than something like a Pilot's Crystal Light or Super if you can run it. If you're on something like a 5080 or 5090, you'll be in for an absolute treat. All affiliate links are linked down below. Anyway, do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe Shink for more. And I'll see you soon. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up.